We feel a tremendous weight of responsibility on our shoulders this year. We had to be here. We had to be here on the global stage. We had to show the world that Ukraine is standing, Ukraine is strong, Ukraine is resilient. I think Ukraine House was the essential house this year in Davos because of Moscow's huge offensive against Ukraine. And that has become the major international issue of the year. So it was natural for you to be here in, in a larger contingent than you had been before. And I think that Ukraine House has done a very good job telling the story. President Zelensky has truly inspired the world. He's inspired the nation, he inspired the Ukrainian people. He didn't take that ride. And as a result, we've seen that almost 90 days, Ukraine has withstood the second largest army in the world, everything that they have thrown. A few days ago, your military intelligence chief, General Budinov, told the Wall Street Journal, quote, Russia will lose in the end and Ukraine will recover all its temporary lost territories. Do you agree with General Budinov? I like um, General Budanov. <laughs> I like him very much. For, for me, it all started with President Zelensky's speech. And the most important message that he said was, give us weapons, give us sanctions, and we will give you freedom and democracy. Ukraine House Davos is full. There's a big energy this year, and it should be that way, as it should be. I want to thank the organizing committee and, uh, because you made it possible and you, you showed that Ukraine is deeply rooted in European culture, even if it has its own Ukrainian dimension. If you really want to stop the war, you have to stand by Ukraine and help us win.